Yeah, good evening. My name is Edda Fegodo, CEO of Go Energy. And uh, today I have, uh, I have a press person here with me, Chidima. And uh, I'm sorry that you can't really see her right now. Uh, but, well, you will hear her voice from time as uh, you will hear her voice next. Uh, well, we are here to do, like, I'm planning for a press interview, like a column on the newspaper. So, more or less, like, uh, so we just try to just see how we can straighten up some things. Well, the next voice you're going to hear is my sweetheart here, Chilima. So, hit, Chilima. Hi, Mr. Jeffrey. Yeah, hi. Just want to ask you some few questions. Okay. Um, when did you start Go Energy? To well, well, Go Energy was was given birth to by a company called Promolinless. Promolinless started. Promolinless was registered in 2003 with the intention to become Go Energy, but in 2010 we decided to change the company's name. So officially, we'll say that we started since 2003. Okay. okay. And how have you been going so far? Well, basically, we have been running uh, from personal effort basically it's not been easy because we've run the company from nothing to what it is today worth of experience and the uh, projects to call our own and, uh, but when we started initially we, were, we had practically nothing it was a zero budget company kickoff so what inspired the idea well, the, as the idea was inspired from uh, right from when we I I I was like I went to stay in a place called Shibiri in Ajambadi, and uh, when we left Surulere, when after my mom lost her job, we left Surulere to a place that is more affordable property wise and all the rest of the thing. So we left Surulere to Ajambadi, Shibiri, and. Uh, it was like really, really chaotic for us, for me then, because I was always used to seeing lights. And when I got to that place, I could stay for like uh, three months and uh, up to four months. There's no lights. So that curiosity in my mind, I said, how can I do something to generate power without never? That's where it started from. That was far back in 1990. And uh, since then, I started this research since 1990, so we started working on it, working on it, working on it. So in 2006, we kicked off fully. In 2000, not in 2006, in 2004, we kicked off fully. We started in 2003, but we kicked off, we started doing installations in 2004. Then by 2004, I was able to design my own model of inverters that was ready to sell already tested working and I was ready to deploy because of over time I have worked on it and I have seen it work. It broke down several times but I never gave up. I just kept working and kept working. So that's what inspired me to do alternative energy. And uh, it has really, really not been easy because of you have to sometimes buy components with your own money, buy it with your own money and at the end of the day it just Collapses before you after you design the board, design the circuit system, and still doesn't work because of. But over time, I, I, I that was, that was what drove me to Alaba to go and learn from the Igbos. I, I went to Alaba to learn circuits, to learn how to repair electronics, because that was what now gave me a strong background to design, to say I can be able to confirm on design. I believe in future. I, right now, because of. Financial wise, we have not started designing our own system yet because of I've done, I've done, I've, I've not, I've done my trademark, but I've not started doing patent. I'll start doing patent yet, patent my different designs before I can start bringing them out. I have them all in my head. I can't put it out here. Right? I can't sell it right now because of each one I try to bring out, they just keep stealing my ideas. So I just keep them all here. I pray I don't go to the grave with it. So when I'm able to do all the patents, I can. With the right finance, with the right financial backup, I can then push those designs into the market. Mm, sounds very interesting. Mm. That brings me to my next question. How are you able to get the startup capital? 